some of the best contributions that uh, a country like China and other bilaterals have made, or even the multilaterals, is also building infrastructure um, and also industrializing, supporting industrialization. Infrastructure, you can't, you can't go to school if you can't cross that bridge, uh, if you can't, uh, if you have to walk um, uh, several miles to get to school, you'll be falling asleep in the classes, you will not have enough food, etc. These are the sorts of issues that uh, bilateral partners can also support with, and the same with industrialization. You were asking David about unemployment. There's no point going to school if you are not going to have a job that's going to be better paying than being on your farm and supporting your parents doing that. And these are the very real choices that people have to make, that children have to make, that families have to make. And I think so bilateral partners not only are working directly on education, but also generally supporting budgets, supporting infrastructure, finance and industrialization, transformation of African economies is the best way to go. And you don't just deliver education just by looking at education itself. There's no country that has this right or the right model. But if countries come together, countries work and learn from each other and also learn from the other models that have been out there and used, then we can find a way forward.